Hi guys, it's Nick Thomas here. How you guys doing? Um, today is going to be, uh, I'm going to talk about my friend Barry. His birthday is coming up pretty soon. It's, it's in March. And I um, I was um, just thinking about him and I was going through some photos. And, um, and there's a photo that um, back in 2019, um, I went over to his house and um, he surprised me. And he went out and made uh, his favorite dish, his favorite uh, Chinese dish, which is Kung Pao chicken. He loves Kung Pao chicken. <laughs> he likes Kung Pao chicken because he likes the, pe the, likes the peanuts and he likes the spiciness. And um, and I was shocked. He said, oh, yeah, come on over, TJ, got some, uh, got some Kung Pao chicken, come on over. I said, okay. I go, uh, I finished working, so I came over, and he had a big bowl of uh, Kung Pao chicken. He had the rice in it. He used white white rice, um, and then also he uh, he cut up the chicken, and he had the, the peanuts and that, and and then he, he followed a, a recipe he saw on, online, and and uh, he made this Kung Pao chicken, and uh, um, and I, I said this looks really good, and it smelled really good too. I mean, it smelled like it. You know, it was from a really good Chinese restaurant. So we went downstairs and we had some, a little bit of adult style beverages to, with our meal. And so we broke bread together, as we usually do. And uh, so when I t tasted it, and it was really tasty, but um, Barry likes his, his spicy hot. <laughs> I mean, it was like an episode of Hot Ones. <laughs> I mean, uh, my temperature went all the way up. I mean, it, he had a lot of hotness in there. I mean, it was really spicy. Um, I mean, my eyes were watering. I was sweating. I said, hey, what's wrong with you? I said, this, this is hot, man. <laughs> he said, oh, no, it's not hot. <laughs> I said, man, I'm, I'm bored. I'm burning up here. <laughs> Drink some beer. Go ahead. So, um, so I drank the beer, and, uh, and I had the... The Kung Pao, which was, it was pretty good, but it was just a little too spicy for me. Uh, so I told him, I said, next time you make this, can you just tone down the, 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 uh, the hotness? Because, I mean, I like it, but, you know, <laughs> you were a little heavy-handed with that. You know, you just went everywhere. He said, oh, man, shut up. <laughs> I said, okay, all right, well, I know you're going to make it again. I said, okay, so. That was back in 2019, so he never made it again. But I, I thanked him for it, and uh, uh, he was also going to make some chili. I think I, uh, there might be a, a link in here um, about him make some chili for me. Um, his mother made some good chili, and and um, and uh, I think he, he might have made it once. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But um, he made some chili, and uh, well, he was supposed to make some chili for me. And uh, he never, never did make that chili. And, uh, I don't think he did. But uh, his wife might have made the chili, but he didn't make the chili. But um, so I, just, I saw the the, the the Kung Pao chicken uh, dish, and I wanted to, to, to talk about that. You know, cause that was very funny. <laughs> but uh, but we, I mean, we, we we had a good time, and uh, we we enjoyed each other's company. So anyway, um, so you know. You gotta make sure that you um, go out and, and break bread with your your friends and and with uh, your loved ones. Uh, it, it brings you closer to them, but also it's a spiritual thing where you guys get a chance to share and swap stories and things like that. So, you know, it's it's always good to to have a meal with somebody. The frugal gourmet always said um, it's good to share, and also Emery Lagasse also. One of my favorite f friends, he said, go ahead and <laughs> make some friends. <laughs> so, so you just want to enjoy your food, but you still also have a chance to enjoy it with your, um, with your loved ones. Try not to eat alone, definitely. Well, you guys uh, have a great day, and um, um, let me know your stories about if you like Kung Pao chicken or anything like that. I made um, beef and broccoli for uh, a good friend of mine, I went over to her house and I made um, a chicken and broccoli, a chicken with snow peas for uh, my son, uh, my, excuse me, not my son, my nephew. Um, and he still talks about that to the day. I haven't made it in a long time. I used to have a, 
a Chinese hand hammer walk that they talked about back in the day on uh, on commercial TV, and I bought one that had to be about 1988, I believe, and I had a hand hammer walk, and I tore that sucker up. I mean, I, I still got uh, recipes for for making Chinese food downstairs, but I, um, but I haven't made that in a long time. I think I might need to make some um, some chicken and snow peas. That would be good. Anyway. You guys take care, and uh, you know, you guys be safe, and let me let me know how you guys feel about the Chinese food and the type of Chinese food you like. Okay, all right, guys, you guys take care.